Hello loves and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a crystal grid to recall prosperity from a past life or past lives. Um, this is a little bit of, of an advanced crystal grid, um, but I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm putting it together. Um, <clears throat> but before we get started, um, the next monthly workshop like ceremony that we're going to be doing is going to be a soul journey ceremony on the 30th of June. So definitely make sure you get your tickets. We're going to be going through like the it's going to be a really powerful um, soul journey meditation. Um, there's going to be tarot spreads. We're going to be doing a prayer. We're going to be chanting where you are going. We're going to be doing a lot. Um, there's also going to be a new workbook with specifically when it comes to working through your soul journey. So definitely make sure you get your tickets. The link to that will be down below. Um, also do not forget the early bird for the Egypt spiritual retreat. You get $200 off and payment plans are available. You get $200 off for the first eight people who sign up. Um, there's already been a few, so there's definitely not like space is limited. So definitely make sure that if you want to come through, you come through. I'm really excited about the Egypt spiritual retreat. It's going to be so powerful. We're going to have a full moon and Leo ceremony. We're going to have a onk, um, recall, like recalling your power, recalling, um, power from past lives attunement is going to be powerful um, we're going to be doing so much stuff there's going to be there's videos already on the channel about it but I'm really excited um, to share space and hold space with you guys in Egypt is going to be amazing so definitely make sure you check that out the link for that will also be down below uh, so with that said we're going to jump in we're going to get started we have a lot to do so first and foremost this is the flower of life um, obviously symbol this is a crystal grid board. I got this one on Amazon. It's like, like this, like thickness. Um, it is obviously it's for crystal grids. Um, the flower of life symbol is a very powerful symbol to use when it comes to grid work because it's part of sacred geometry when it comes to the symbolism of everything. Um, I can make like a whole separate video about the flower of life, but the the one as far as like the board that I wanted to pick, there's different boards. I'm gonna have link this one linked down below. I got it from Amazon. It was like nine bucks, like eight or nine bucks. Um, so if you wanted to get your own, you could definitely get your own. Um, <clears throat> and um, I got the flower of life because I I love working with the energy of the flower of life. And I work with it often, especially when it comes to charging my water. So that's why I went, I went with that one. But there's a, some other um, sacred geometry designs that you can also work with if you are more comfortable with those as well. Um, so yeah, I'll have that link down below for those who are going to want to get the board. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you cleanse it. And you can also, it's already, you're already working with sacred geometry, so it's very potent. But you can also, in the back, and I recommend doing this, you can anoint it with an oil. You can also put a petition at the bottom to activate what it is that you're trying to do. I'm gonna be doing this specifically, oops, sorry, I'm shaking the camera, specifically with the crystals that I'm gonna be using. So um, I'm not gonna be doing the petition, but if you want to, you can absolutely put a petition underneath, put all the crystals on top, and then, you know, do the thing. Now, when it comes to the crystals that we're gonna be using, we're going to be using the clear quartz pointers right here point crystals um in, in order to connect and amplify the energies um i always recommend getting like these kind of sizes they're really powerful just to like work with for just especially when you're making your own spiritual like medicine and stuff you can just like um amplify intentions with it they're very like small you can get them usually for like a really decent price as far as working with them but they're amazing for crystal grid work um, and then this is going to be the crystals that we're going to be using. And I know, I know you see that there's shells in here and that is for a reason. Um, there's a reason we're using carry shells because we're trying to work with prosperity energy, right? And in order to work, work with money, prosperity, drawing in a, like wealth from past lifetimes, you also have to understand how, you know, money, the concept of money was used back in the day. Carry shells are like notorious for have been used as currency um back in the day and so it has and holds that energy of prosperity wealth and money and abundance so that's why we're going to be using it here if you wanted to use like cacao beans or something like um that was used also as currency in place of the carry shells if you wanted to make it more personal to you you can also do that it's 
ultimately up to you. You get to decide what you want to do, but I'm going to be using that today. Um, now, what's going in the center right here? Um, obviously, when it comes to sacred geometry, geometry you're going to want to work with the angles. Um, the, these are also really nice because you get to like really align and, and direct their energy. Um, and it just fits perfectly. As you can see, it just fits like right perfectly. So I definitely recommend you getting these. But um, the energy that we're going to be using to uh, specifically work with the past life energy, like recalling power from past lives, is this baby right here. This is a Galena. Um, it's not really a crystal, but I, I guess you can say it's a crystal. Um, but this baby right here is powerful for past life recall. Um, and so because we are going to be working with calling our energy, calling wealth and abundance back, tap, tapping into the energy of wealth and abundance from past lives where we were very, very um, like healthy and in, in having that success in, in finances and money. Um, you can also um, work with this when it comes to ancestral, like calling in financial wealth and abundance from your ancestral bloodline as well, uh, which is why this is a very multi-dimensional like, multi um, one to work with. I highly recommend this for meditations. It can really help when if you're having trouble um, visualizing and opening up your crown and your third eye to visualize and see your past lives. This one is amazing to work with with the Akashic Records. So I'm going to be working with this one. I'm going to just put it like, like this because it's like pyramid kind of shape not really but it just has that shape so i'm gonna have it pointing like this okay and then these are the other crystals that we're working with we have Car carly <clears throat> i'm sorry we have carnelian um carnelian is amazing specifically when it comes to okay let, let's backtrack a little bit because I, I know that we've talked a lot about um, working with your womb space and your womb space being the state, the place of creation, how we create in different lifetimes and in this lifetime as well. So what has been created, what has been successfully created is what we're tapping into with the energy of Carnelian. So it's meant to amplify this energy. So we're tapping into what has already been created and what has already been successful. Okay. Um, we're also going to be working with tiger's eye as well because tiger's eye is very grounding helps to remove like obstacles um especially financial ones as well so really great to work with and we're obviously pyrite we're going to need that because we're calling in and drawing in wealth and abundance from other lifetimes um and i know this is going to seem like a random one but it's really not this one is definitely necessary for this particular crystal board because this is bloodstone why is bloodstone here abby that's a healing crystal um because you're calling in on the energy of wealth and abundance you're drawing it in into this lifetime which means that you need to heal what has blocked your wealth and abundance in this lifetime which is why we're making this video uh, we're going to be doing more crystal grids um and i want to you know share more crystal grids with you guys that you can do in so many different ways not just like oh this is a loved one or oh this is that like we'll do some basic ones but i wanted to do a couple of like advanced one when you're, where you're working with your soul's energy your soul's journey um and you know the wealth and abundance that you've accumulated through so many lifetimes and so this is what this one is for so i wanted to show you guys how to do this one it's a little bit advanced but it's very very powerful and potent okay so now what we're going to do is that we're going to start to move and, and uh, do the the extensions so i'm just going to and you can move it and switch it up as you are going it is really up to you you can do whatever your heart desires at the end of the day you know make your crystal grid your own you should feel very like comfortable doing whatever it is that you're feeling called to do you shouldn't feel rushed or do whatever you feel called to do um if you feel like doing the design a little bit differently than i am do whatever you want to do um okay so now we're going to i'm going to add a shell to extend it Because again, we're working with the energy of currency. We're working with the energy of money. So adding that in there. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and you can you can extend it like sideways too. Wait, let me put a different one in there. Like if you wanted to do, and then yeah, that's the way I'm gonna do it. Okay. Okay. Like that. Oh, 
I also got all of these crystals, the tiny ones, at my favorite crystal shop in New York City, which is Crystal Gardens, for those who are going to want to know. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do all the sides and then I'll be back. Okay, so now we're just going to put the crystals and you can do it in whatever, again, follow your heart with whatever it is that you, however it is that you wanna do it. Um, I'm going to be using the, the where it closes in this way. You see how it's like, boop, that's where I'm gonna be putting these. So again, follow your heart. Whatever you feel like doing, do that. Um, and then I'm just gonna put this one right here. Put this one there. This one there. Put stone right here. Well, let me move the carlinian over here. There we go. Okay, so you can leave it like this if you want to. If you wanted to add more of these as far as like to connect to center, whatever it is you want to do. If you wanted to add more um, shells and like add more, you can. But I feel like this is perfectly fine for me. Um, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to go ahead and activate it. So for this, I'm working with um, my red jasper. Um, this one is one that I work with offset with um, just to activate my crystal grids. Um, I have another video on crystal grids and I showed you guys how I personally activate my crystal grids. And so there's different ways that you can kind of approach it. You can start at the center. You can do um, sacred symbols as well. You can also work with the shape that you, you know, start at the center and then work with the shape that you did and then activate it that way. And you're going to want to make sure that you're communicating with the crystals. You want to make sure that you are activating, praying over it. Again, if you have a petition in the back and underneath, you're going to want to make sure that you're restating that on top as far as what it's supposed to be working on, what it's supposed to be manifesting. Um, or you can also do a spiral, go around like this, and you're going to want to visualize the energy locking in within itself like that as well. However you feel comfortable doing it, Follow your heart. I know different crystal boards look differently. So again, follow your heart, <laughs> follow your spirit on what feels right to you. But I'm going to sit with it. I'm going to go ahead and draw. You can also draw a sigil over it as well. If you wanted to draw a sigil um, a specifically for past life, like money recall, you can also do that. You can design one and then do it over the crystals. You can do that as well. Literally so many different ways you can approach it. It is up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and sit with it. And I like to just hover over it and push the energy in and work and connect to all of them and just integrate them to center and just build up that energy so i will like oops, sorry i shake the camera um so i will be doing like a personally uh a meditation just to connect with the energy and work with the energy and it's just going to sit there i'm gonna have it sit there for as long as spirit tells me to have it sit there when it comes to crystal grids you do have to like give them time to do their thing um, sometimes depending on what crystals you're using, it works really quickly when it comes to past life recall, obviously when it's like searching through time and, and, and digging in deep into your, your own soul and your own spirit, it can take a little bit of time because you're calling on so much energy. So you can literally leave it for like a month or so. It's really up to you, whatever you feel called to, to do. I'm going to leave it until Offset tells me that it's done. Um, being that I am working with Offset to do this crystal grid. So yeah, that's personally how I'm doing it. You can do it however, whatever your heart desires, however you feel called to do it. But at least I wanted to just show you guys like the foundational parts of it. And yes, you can work with seashells for your crystal grids. Um, we'll do like a little like a, a mermaid, like a siren um, crystal grid um, shell situation. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do a crystal grid without just like a shell grid instead. Um, which is also really powerful, really potent, and works really well as well when it comes to working with the energy of water. I'll probably show you guys how to do that next, so keep an eye out for that video. But um, yeah, this is how you can incorporate both crystals and, you know, shells in there and still have a lot of potent energy coming through as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for all of the love and support and, and everything. You guys just super supportive um, and just always are just like 
just there and I just I love you guys so much um I will see you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here have a very blessed day